Hi everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and today we have Thanksgiving 101. We're doing slow cooker mashed potatoes with garlic and then they're going to be fixed up with some cream cheese and butter and we're going to mash them right in our slow cooker and that's where we're going to cook them, right in our slow cooker. We're going to free up the stove and we're going to make Thanksgiving a breeze and I'm even going to show you how you can fix your mistake if your mashed potatoes didn't come out exactly the way you had hoped they would. So let's go see how these all come together. Okay, we're going to get started on our slow cooker mashed potatoes. I was inspired to do this because Thanksgiving is coming and we all need a little extra help sometimes. So this is mental preparation for your big meal day. And cooking your mashed potatoes in the slow cooker may not have been something that has occurred to you, but it's really simple. It frees up space on your stove. It frees up time because you're going to be cooking these as you're cooking other things. So you're really going to be multitasking when this happens. Today we're going to be making cream cheese and garlic mashed potatoes in the slow cooker and this is what we're going to use. I have about a five pound bag of Yukon gold potatoes and all I did was cut them up in relatively even sized chunks. All right. I have an entire head of garlic and what we're going to do is we're just going to tuck these in there and then I have two cups of chicken stock. This is just better than bouillon that I whipped up with using some hot water and some of the, um, the chicken base according to the package directions. We're going to put this in our Ninja on the slow cooker setting and then the cream cheese is going to come later. We'll put the lid on it and we'll turn it on to slow cooker. I'm going to put this on high for four hours. We'll be back when it's time to mash up these cream cheese and garlic mashed potatoes in our slow cooker. Our potatoes have cooked all the way through and they were only in the slow cooker for three hours. So depending on how powerful your slow cooker is when it's on high, you may consider doing this on low if you want them to cook longer, but I've been checking them ever since they were cooking for about two hours just to make sure that we weren't overdoing it because we don't want these to be pasty. We want them to be beautiful and light and fluffy and delicious. Now, our potatoes are cooked all the way and I did want to mention if you prefer to peel your potatoes, you go for it. Um, I prefer to just go ahead and leave the skins on. I think they add nice texture and That's how we always eat them. So we're gonna go ahead, we can come right in here. We're gonna mash these potatoes up and they're mashing just beautifully. And the Yukon Gold potatoes are great because they're, they're a waxier potato instead of a starchy potato and they're gonna hold up longer. If you're gonna make these ahead of time, they will hold a lot more nicely than a russet would. I have a brick of cream cheese and a stick of butter here. And I'm going to add about half of each right now. And we're just going to go ahead and stir that in. And we're going to let that melt in there. All right, I went ahead and I added the other half of our butter and our cream cheese. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wow, that looks really, really watery. No worries. If you get to this point and you feel like your potatoes look a little bit too soupy, there's a fix for that. And this is something you should always have in your pantry which is potato flakes. Now, I don't want anybody to make faces or go, ew, potato flakes are gross. All potato flakes are is dehydrated potatoes, nothing more, nothing less, and check the ingredients, but buy a good brand. It's not a problem. And at Thanksgiving, if you have a little bit of an oopsie, then you can fix it, okay? Dehydrated potatoes go in just fold that on in there. And I promise you these are going to be some of the most delicious potatoes you ever had. Okay, we got our potatoes all mixed together. And now I'm just going to add salt and pepper to season. Of course, you do this to taste. 
I've got my Himalayan pink salt and I've got freshly cracked black pepper and I always use a tri-peppercorn mix. That's my favorite because it's got a really, a really nice depth of flavor. And just give it a good stir. You can see how nicely the potatoes have come together. These are gonna hold really well for you and you can just put these in your crock pot on warm and they'll be ready when you're ready. Now, I kinda have to say that I did add a little bit too much chicken stock at the beginning today, but I also didn't start with a full five pounds of potatoes. I did open that bag of potatoes for something else earlier in the week and that does make a difference. So what I would suggest to you is I started off with two full cups of chicken stock. I would recommend that you don't. I would recommend that you start off with a cup to a cup and a half, but also that's gonna be dependent on the type of potatoes that you have. Do you wanna taste this, honey? Okay. Um, I am not upset that my potatoes were a little on the soupy side. In fact, I'm kind of happy that happened because it may happen to one of you. And if it does, we had the opportunity to show you how to fix it because that is nothing, nothing to be upset about. You can see how beautiful these potatoes are. Mm -hmm. They're lovely, they're creamy, and they're light. They're not gummy and they're not pasty. And adding the extra potato flakes gives your potatoes um, a little more of life and it gives you the opportunity to fix what you thought may not have you know, a fix been a fixable situation. Oh, that's good. Wow. Mm. Those are all skin. The garlic has literally melted right into those potatoes. The cream cheese and the butter just enhance everything because they make everything good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's it. That's how you make delicious slow cooker mashed potatoes that you can do on your Thanksgiving day or any day they're cooking a big meal and you're gonna be busy and you wanna make sure that you get those done. This is an excellent way to do things and I'm telling you, if you have a big family, maybe you do a Sunday dinner once a week or once a month or something, this is a great way to deal with the potatoes. We didn't have to pick up a big pot of boiling water and drain it in the sink and then transfer it back to the stove and we didn't have to wait till the very last minute to take care of these. They took care of themselves while we were doing other things like making the gravy and basting the turkey and carving the turkey and getting our table set and ready for our guests. So this is an excellent way for you to do mental Thanksgiving prep ahead of time. When the big day comes, you just get out your slow cooker and you put it to work for you so that your Thanksgiving dinner isn't as crazy as it could have been. So I hope this suggestion is a good one for you. I hope that you liked it. I want to thank you for joining me today so I could show you how I make slow cooker mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving Day or any day we're having a big meal. I hope that you like the video and if you did please consider giving me a thumbs up and if you're not already please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the thanksgiving prep that we are sharing this year and every year right here on our youtube channel and straight from our kitchen i hope you give these slow cooker mashed potatoes a try even if you make a mistake we can fix it and i hope you love them and until next time i'll see ya